His Morning Crew with Rob, Allison, and Jim. Honored this morning to be joined by Kirk Cameron in Wa No, wait a minute. You're in New York City now. That's right, the Big Apple, baby. The Big Apple, yeah, right on Yeah, you got a pretty Broadway. nice view there from your hotel room. It looks good. Yeah, it's really nice. It's it's really high up here, and uh, but it, New York City is always an exciting place to be for a weekend. Yeah, I don't want to live here. But for a weekend, it's pretty cool. Well, of course, Kirk, we've been talking and remembering Billy Graham. What went through your mind when you heard of Billy Graham's passing yesterday? You know, I, I was in Virginia Beach, and I saw the television screen that said Billy Graham dies at 99. And it just, it, I just, it took my breath away, to be honest. I remember at 17 years old, I had a chance to meet Billy Graham when he had his star placed on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And I was... Not really sure who he was because I had just become a Christian uh, months earlier, but I went and I met him and, it, and, and over the years I finally understood what a shi shining star he has been for the gospel, all the, the people that he has inspired and the people who will meet in heaven because of his preaching. And I'm so honored to have known him. You know, I was reading about that star on Hollywood Boulevard with Billy Graham. And, and he said, you know, it feels a little egotistic, egotistical to have that. But he was thinking about the kids that would walk over his name and then the parents that would be able to then share the gospel by explaining who Billy Graham was. It was kind of neat to think about. It, it's, it, and he's absolutely right. My son yesterday uh, said, Dad, um, you know, who, who was Billy Graham? And, uh, and I got a chance to talk with him about Billy Graham, and this is going to start a great conversation about the gospel and uh, the, the, the importance of people understanding who Jesus is. Now, on that day, back when he got his star and you were there, Billy shared this advice for those in television, film, and radio. He said, I would call upon the industry today to put more emphasis on moral and spiritual values. How are you taking that to heart today? Oh, wow. What, uh, what important and wise words. You know, I, I, for, for years, I've tried to make projects that were going to be a, a real help spiritually and morally for families. And I, I have a, a brand new movie project that's coming out that I think is so important that every parent needs to see. It's called Connect. And it's about giving real help to parents who are raising kids in a social media and technology world. Uh, you, you have kids. And you have the same concern that every one of us parents have. And that is, my kids are on uh, Instagram or maybe they're on Snapchat or Twitter. And there's so many dangers and reports of uh, dangerous things happening to kids now. We as parents really need to understand this and help our kids navigate through this world. And that's what this new movie, Connect, is all about. Well, I know it's very important to you because you have like six teens in the house, dude. You really got to keep in contact with all that. Well, you scared me there. I thought you meant 16, and I thought no, maybe no, I no. lost <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's a few others running around you haven't seen just yet, but six teenagers in the house at the same time. I can see why you're so passionate about this, because your kids are involved in social media, just like everybody's child is in this day and age. Uh, that's right. And, and the crazy thing is, Rob, is that the truth is we are pioneer parents. We are the generation that is doing this for the first time. Our parents didn't raise kids who were on Instagram. And so really we're figuring it out. We're blazing new trails. And every parent is concerned that there is this secret digital underworld that their kids are a part of that they're not very familiar with. And it is so important. The experts are telling us that we must stay connected with our kids and all that they're connected to. And that's what I do in Connect. I speak to experts uh, in family counseling and psychology, along with neuroscience, uh, technology entrepreneur, and even my pastor to, to get in front of all of this and offer help to parents uh, and grandparents who are raising children in a social media world. Yeah, Kirk Cameron's Connect the Movie is actually going to be in theaters. It's a Fathom event next week. It's on Tuesday and Thursday next week. That's the 27th and then March the 1st. On your website, I was going through it, and I noticed you have all these great resources that are on your website, including the uh, Circle device that Disney has. That, that's right. What I try to do is offer parents help on uh, parenting tips along with real technology that can help them to monitor and limit and be aware of their children's online presence. So Circle with Disney is one of those devices. 
Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, we understand that we cannot outsource parenting to a piece of technology. Mm -hmm. Siri is not a good substitute for a mom or a dad. And so we need to be fully connected. It's, uh, it's amazing how our children appear to be more connected than ever, when in reality, experts are saying this is the loneliest generation that has ever existed. And so even more reason for us to make sure that that we are in relationship with our kids. <laughs> Boy, and I tell you, and Connect's going to help us with that. I'm so glad that you're championing this so that we can learn as parents how to really connect with our kids better and how while they're in a connected society that we can be more involved in their lives. Absolutely. Um, it, it's an honor for me. And so, uh, you know, if, if you're concerned, anybody out there about the content and the people your kids are uh, viewing and connecting with, if you're concerned about how much time they're spending online, I think Connect will really help. So I hope I see you there at the movies. It's next week. It's Tuesday and Thursday. We'll have more about that on our website at historyo.com. As a matter of fact, Kirk was very nice to give us one of those circle devices. And if you open up the His Radio app right now, because we're going to connect with you, we have that to give away. You can just go right to the uh, His Radio app. It's in Google Play and the App Store. We'll get you connected, and you'll see more about Kirk Cameron's Connect. That's in theaters next week on Tuesday and Thursday. Dude, you're awesome. Thanks for the time this morning. Rob Allison, great to talk with you guys. I, I love his radio. I love you guys in the morning. Keep up the great work.